people of God said, Amen. For Williamsburg and the First Baptist Church, Juneteenth has been a long time coming. I think that uh, it's mission accomplished. Uh, it's the first step in the right direction. Reginald Davis is the reverend of the church, a church intertwined with African American history. First Baptist was founded by free and enslaved African Americans, and it's honoring and celebrating the newly formed federal holiday with events and presentations. We know that not quite everybody knows what Juneteenth really is, so we're hoping they'll walk away uh, understanding how important it is, not just to African Americans, but to all Americans. And throughout that history, Williamsburg and the church has received some distinguished guests. Uh, the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., uh, Jesse Jackson has been here twice. We've had Rosie Park and a number of civil rights leaders to come here. That also includes Opal Lee. She stopped here in 2019 as she pushed for Juneteenth to be a federal holiday. We want it on the calendar. We want people to be aware of it. Ringing this bell. So it means something for people who are still struggling uh, for full democracy, full freedom, and that's what this bell means. Now, for the First Baptist Church, preserving that African-American history goes beyond just inside the walls of the church. It's also outside and throughout the entire city of Williamsburg. That includes the site where the church once stood over 150 years ago. Archaeologists are digging for clues on the church's history. It's all part of protecting the history of this church and uh, the artifacts and things like that, but it's just preserving our legacy. In Williamsburg, Julio Avila, News 3.